Hello and welcome to another Albion Online Dev Talk. The Wild Blood update launches on October 16th, and today it's time to talk in depth about the big new weapon line coming with the update, the Shapeshifter Staffs. This awesome new expansion of the You Are What You Wear character building system is the most elaborate weapon line we've built so far. And it comes with some unique mechanics and choices, so I've invited combat designer Michael Schwan to introduce them in detail. With the addition of the new weapon line, one of our primary goals was to not only add something that looks and feels good to play, but the weapon line also should bring a new type of gameplay to Albion. That is why we added the Shapeshifter staff. There are a total of seven different staffs. Each one lets you transform into a completely different creature called Shapes. These Shapes have their own unique abilities and stats, ranging from fragile damage dealer to immovable tanks, making this a very versatile weapon line with a very active playstyle. In human form, Shapeshifters manipulate reality to inflict damage, disrupt enemies, or support their allies. They can even transform enemy players into various helpless animals, like an assassin jacket player sneaking up on you can easily be turned into a small rat. Another option is Tether Shift, an ability that can be used to either pull yourself towards an enemy or pull an ally towards you. Each ability in human form builds up shift charges. These charges can be used in your shape form to empower your abilities. Think of them as energy for your shapes. So let's talk about the shapes. First, the Shadow Panzer, a sneaky assassin that turns invisible when no enemies are in proximity. This is not only good to ambush enemies with its burst damage, but it is also a good tool when trying to escape. Just keep in mind that enemy players will be notified if an invisible panzer is around so gatherers get a chance to escape before they get jumped out of nowhere. Next is a Sylvian, a shape focused on supporting your allies. It increases the maximum health of allies around it and provides additional healing in group fights without triggering healing sickness. The Sylvian can also save your allies with a powerful shield that grants immunity to forced movement effects while spreading its roots to slow down enemy engagements. The Spirit Bear is an aggressive tank that excels at disrupting enemies. The bear can charge in, reduce enemy resistances and follow up with stunts and even a fear. Additionally, the bear also enrages when low on health, speeding up its cast times and increasing damage and CC duration. The Spirit Bear, like all tank shapes, can also be played as a main tank in PvE. Just combine it with a staff passive intimidating presence which makes sure you generate enough threat in human and in shape form. If you are looking for a bruiser with a lot of sustain instead, the werewolf has you covered. It can heal up by attacking enemies and consuming their blood from the ground. Collecting these pools of blood will not only heal you up, but also give you a speed boost. This makes the werewolf a scary and sticky bruiser, hard to shake off as long as he has enough shift charges. The Hellfire Imp has very high damage but also very low defense. Use it to inflict high burst damage and play some mind games with its Fire Flash Orb ability. A slow moving skill shot that can be recast to teleport to the orb's position, which causes the orb to explode dealing even more damage. Due to the low defense, going all in like this can easily lead to your demise. However, the Imp has one last ace up his sleeve. After the imp dies, it will revive in human form with some health. But this will put your transformation on a very long cooldown. Now, the runestone golem is the exact opposite of the imp. The golem is an unstoppable and immovable force, very tanky and immune to all forced movement. Additionally, it gets even more health and grows even bigger the more shift charges you have. It can create a stone wall that traps enemies in front of you where you can follow up by beating them up with your giant fists that are the size of a human being. Last but not least, the Dawnbird, a majestic eagle that can deal very high damage from a safe distance. With its mightiest ability being Judgment, a beam of immense energy that strikes down from the sky, dealing massive damage to all enemies in the impact radius. This makes the Dawnbird a very dangerous force 
in large-scale fights. As you can see, the shapes offer a lot of variety in their playstyles and roles, especially if you also consider all the equipment combinations. Keep in mind, transforming into your shape completely overrides your armor stats. This allows you to switch your roles on transformation. For instance, you can combine a plate armor with a prowling staff. This makes you a tank in human form and a deadly assassin in your shape form. But beware, while in your shape, you don't have access to any armor abilities or potions. However, buffs that were already active before you transformed do carry over. That means you can activate Hunter Jacket in human form, then transform into Werewolf and keep the auto attack buff. Or use a sprint, then transform to keep the move speed. Toggle and channel abilities do not carry over. So situational awareness when to transform is crucial. Shifting back and forth between both forms makes for a very active playstyle that is a lot of fun. We wanted the core gameplay to be streamlined enough so that it can be picked up quickly, but at the same time offers a lot of depth and scale expression in the long run. We hope you enjoy this very new playstyle and build possibilities with this brand new weapon line. As you can see, the shapeshifter weapons expand the you are what you wear system in exciting new ways. And we can't wait to see how they shake up the meta game and fit into the world of Albion. So, how do you get your hands on them? Well, shapeshifter staffs are crafted at the Hunter's Lodge, and they always require a rare ingredient found on an appropriate creature, even for the non artifact versions. These creatures and their ingredients, as well as the artifacts required for artifact shapeshifter staffs, can only be found using the recently introduced tracking kits. Because of this, we expect these weapons to remain quite rare and valuable, bolstering the economic appeal of tracking and ensuring wielding one of these powerful new staffs really feels special. Come and join us on October 16th and begin the hunt for your shapeshifter staff. Which one will you pick?